Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my August BoxyCharm unboxing. Now I'm going to be doing today's a little bit different. So I usually in my other BoxyCharm unboxings I'll like unbox it, like I'll pick a product from the box, try it on, pick a product, try it on. I kind of want to talk about this month's box really quick <laughs> um, before I get into the try on part um but if you guys don't know what box and charm is it is a monthly subscription box that is 21 dollars a month you usually get like four to five full-size products in it if you want to sign up for box and charm there is a link down below in the description box if you guys do want to sign up for that so let me go ahead and just kind of talk about this box really quick so every month i kind of look through the box to see like what's in it so i know like what look i'm going to kind of do or whatever or like what products i'm going to be using and when I got this box, I, I even tweeted about it. When I got this box, it was very, um, interesting. <laughs> Usually, from my past experiences, for the most part, I would say the boxy charms are pretty, like, um, consistent in, like, the products in the box. Like, um, I've been getting this box for, like, I think almost three years now, and usually, like, if you get a palette, you'll get, like, a lipstick or something that kind of, like, corresponds to, like, the palette, or, like, last month, I think we got, like, a palette, and we got, like, a blush that kind of would, like, go really good with the look with it, and, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we got a lipstick, it would go good with, like, the, the palette that's in it, or, like, vice versa, you know? You know what I'm saying? This box is very, like, doesn't make sense. <laughs> Um, just talk about the products in here really fast. The thing which I think everyone's pretty intrigued about is the, um, Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Now, um, I got a lot of questions asking if I was going to actually even do an unboxing because of this palette being in here, and I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, but I... Regardless of how I feel towards a certain person, I'm going to hate on a product if it's good just for the sake of me and my feelings towards someone. If the palette's good, the palette's good. If the palette's bad, the palette's bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. I'm not gonna bullshit around it. Go into it hoping that it works because even when I saw it, I was like, you know what? Finally, someone's doing colors. <laughs> um, and you know, I love colorful palettes and I hope that it's good. <laughs> so we have that bright ass neon colorful palette. Let me just show you this again. Bright ass neon palette. Um, we also have a bright ass Smashbox lipstick, a brown gel eyeliner, a cuticle oil, and some lashes, and some eye mask. But just like these products right here, like, don't make sense to me. Like, even th like this. The nail cuticle oil. Okay. Um, the brown eyeliner with a colorful palette and then like a colorful bright ass lipstick. Like, it just... Like, I just don't get it. Also, really wondering, I mean, I'm not mad at it, but just, like, as a consumer-wise, like, I, I can see a lot of people being upset that this palette was in here. Just because, you know, I know a lot of influencers like colorful palettes, and I'm not saying that, like, regular consumers don't like colorful palettes, because they do. But I would say the general consumer, which is what the box is actually made for. And I've seen it in like the comments that a lot of people just didn't like this palette based on like the colors. I'm wondering why they didn't put her other palette in here, which I think would have made more sense because I feel like it was more like a warm tone, neutral kind of palette. And I'm wondering like why they put this one instead of her other palette in the box. I don't know. According to this uh, little paper thing in here that explains everything in here, um, this box was curated by Laura Lee herself. So, anyways, with that being said, let's jump into the try on. I don't even know where to start. Um, I'm gonna try, oh, you know what? I'm gonna try these. These are the, um, yeah, it's just like a very like confusing box. And I don't even know if I'm going to, like, use some of the products because I don't think it I want to use the palette, so I don't know if the other products will, like, even go with them. Whatever. So these are the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. So there's three in here. I don't know. It says they're $13. I don't know if it's $13 for, like, a three-pack or $13 for one. I'm going to assume the three-pack. 
but it doesn't say in here so I'm just gonna open these up personally I don't really care for things like this I I don't think they do anything <laughs> but I'm gonna try them anyway they are wet this is why I don't like these things because they just they're so messy so I'm gonna put these on they're like little gold eye mask so let's see uh oh it's cold oh that actually feels nice because it's cold and it's hot as shit in my room right now so I'm just putting that on I'm like stabbing myself in the eye I need to bring this lower I'm gonna go in with the palette let me see oh it says okay so this is the bang beauty chocolate eyeliner it says you can use it as an eyeliner an eyeshadow base or even to touch up your brows this creamy chocolate toned pomade is the ultimate triple threat this retails for $22. Let me see what it looks like and see if I can use it on my brows. Looks a little warm. Let's see, I don't, I don't know. I, you guys know I don't necessarily like brow pomades or anything, but let me see. I will give it a shot. Oh no, this is like way too warm. It's literally like, it looks like chocolate from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like their dip brow. So it's just like way too warm and dark for my brows like I don't think yeah it's too warm so I'm just gonna put that aside I guess I'll do my brows off camera and then I'll come back and take these off okay I'm back I had to like lift these off a little bit to do my primer but um so those were on for however long it took me to do my eyebrows <laughs> um so I'm just patting in the rest of like the serum there's like a lot Honestly, I don't know if they did anything, but they felt nice under the eyes, and I like that they didn't slip around, so I'm not mad at it. I'll probably use them again. I already um, primed and set my eyes, so I'm just going to go in to the Party Animal Palette. This retails for $19. Pretty cheap. Um, the packaging is nice. I like it. I like the size. This is what the inside looks like. Honestly, the colors are really pretty. Take this pink but I wonder if I like if I dust it's like a shimmery pink I don't know if you guys can see it it's shimmery let's do some swatches okay not bad let's do this one that is like the neon yellow ish color honestly that okay <laughs> um let's do damage control You know, let's just try it on the eyes. <laughs> See if I could take that pink color and like try to dust off some of the glitter in it. Like if I tap it off. So let's see. There's also a mirror in here too, which is nice. So let's just, and I primed and set my eyes just like normal. Tap off the brush, the glitter does come off. So um, I don't mind that because I, I wouldn't, necessarily use it as a shimmer it's not even like a shimmer it's just like a you know a matte with like glitter in it so I'm just putting that in honestly it doesn't look bad it's you guys know I work with a lot of pink shadows so it's not the best pink eyeshadow I've ever used but it's not bad so I'm taking karaoke which is like this cobalt blue color and I'm gonna put that right here It, like doesn't want to blend <laughs> so I'm taking a little bit more of the pink to see if that will help it it didn't <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can see it's like not blending right here I'm taking a smaller brush and trying to blend that out I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade hungover even though it is a shimmer to see if I can kind of blend those two together. It looks better than it did. And back with the blue. The only thing is, is that purple is like a 
a satin shadow or like a it has a little bit of a shimmer to it so it looks a little weird and even then i'm still like having a little bit of issues blending but it looks better than it did okay i think i blended that the best that i'm probably gonna get it to blend like i just i'm having like a trouble blending the colors into the pink and i don't understand why because i work with these colors all the time and i never have that issue especially blending purples and blues into pink it's it's not hard to blend those colors together so especially purples and pinks like it it's just not so i don't know like it you can definitely see like it's it's i don't know go ahead and do a half cut crease so i'm just gonna um do that really quick i'm just gonna um take my finger and blend that edge out I'm gonna go back in with um, karaoke, which is the blue, and put that right here so it blends in. Look better once I cleaned it up, but it's still like not the best. But it does look better now once I covered it all up with concealer. <laughs> Damage control. This is like a really pretty blue. I really hope that this color looks nice because this color is really pretty. Okay, that one's nice. That one's really pigmented. And I'm gonna blend these two together. Shade is actually kind of patchy. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it in person. Like, if I blend over it, it like kind of blends the color away. I don't know, there's like a... Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks like just patchy in the center. Go in with It's a Party which is the bright yellowy green shade. And I'm gonna put that right here. I'm gonna blend that in to damage control. Okay, so I finished up the eyes. I feel like I got it to work, but it definitely took me a long ass time to do it like it just and i'm still having issues with that like one blue shade the damage control i just feel like it's not like it keeps like breaking up i don't know it's really weird like you can kind of see it looks a little patchy but i got it to blend into the other colors it's definitely not like the best eyeshadows or the best blending job i've ever done but I think I got it to work. So um, I'm going to clean up fallout that I have underneath my eyes. I'll come back to use the um, rest of the product. I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to do my lower lash line really quick. I think I'm just going to take um, Bottoms Up, the pink shade, and call it a day. I cleaned it up and stuff. It doesn't look that bad, like I said earlier. But I went out <laughs> right now, like, to the bathroom. And I asked my mom, I was like, what do you think of my makeup? And she was like um it looks really chalky and i was like oh so you're just gonna drag me today great oh she's absolutely right it does look really chalky this i'm still having issues trying to blend out right here like it just won't blend i think it's that the blues in here are just strange <laughs> like they just won't blend into anything and that damage control shade it's just like not blending into things. I don't know. And it's like super patchy. It sucks because I do really like the colors in here too. Like if this was really good, I could see myself using it a lot. But it's just not. I'm also taking a little bit of hungover. And then a little bit of karaoke. Right here. Just like on the outer corner. Just uh, call it a day and leave it at that. <laughs> thing in this box is a pair of lashes from House of Lashes. These are their bombshell lashes. These retail for, it says nine to twelve dollars. Using my House of Lashes glue. This is not in the box. This is just the glue that I use all the time, which I kind of want to stop using. I feel like it's ripping out literally every single lash out of my eye every time I take my lashes off. But I love this glue. It just sucks because it literally rips out your lashes. one of the lashes it doesn't look that bad but this is definitely not like my preferred style of lash but it's weird because i've never seen these lashes before i don't know because i have a lot of house of lashes lashes house of lashes lashes i've never seen these before but 
these are definitely better than those lashes that we got in the box what like two months ago i think i actually don't mind these lashes they're a little bit more natural um for like this look seeing myself wearing these like for a really natural look or something they're not bad so the last thing in this month's box which i'm not gonna use <laughs> but i will show you guys anyway this is a smashbox be legendary lipstick this retails for 21 to 24 dollars oh they're like i guess you could have got like um different lip products from smashbox i believe these ones were 21 though like when i worked at ulta if i remember correctly i think these ones were 21 i don't remember if i mentioned bow gel eyeliner thing was 22 dollars and then we also got the ades cuticle oil retails for 18 dollars and then last thing we got is this smashbox lipstick this is in the shade um power on matte I personally don't think I will use this color, but my mom likes these kind of colors, so I'm probably just going to give it to her. It's just like a really pretty bright pink shade. Um, I think if I would wear that with this look, I would look crazy. <laughs> um, so I just, for lips, I just put on like a nudie pink lip liner with a gloss. Uh, maybe for like a different kind of look, this would be really cute, but for this look, um, no. So let me add everything up in this one's box. So this one's box um, retailed for $102, which is really good. Um, I personally feel like we've gotten boxes that were worth a little bit more. Like the recent ones, I think, have been like between like $120 and 131 Regardless, the value of it is $102, and that's still worth way more than like the $21 that you pay for it. Um, was this my favorite box? No. <laughs> I thought it was a very like weird box like i just feel like it didn't really go together i don't know it was just very random um the palette like i said wasn't awful um it did take a lot to like to work with it and stuff to finally to get it to somewhat blend and look okay i feel like i made it look decent um like i said i still had trouble blending like the blues and stuff and i really do think it looks chalky I I don't know like I they're not very vibrant like they just look very very chalky like that's just pretty much the bottom line they're very chalky the lipstick I personally just don't like that color I'm just gonna give it to my mom because she likes those colors the eyeliner maybe I can't use it on my brows and I don't really ever use brown eyeliner like that um the cuticle oil was I mean if I need cuticle oil, I'll use it. The lashes were nice. I guess the lashes were like the best part of the thing. And those little eye masks weren't bad either. But yeah, this definitely was not my favorite box. Uh, I hope next month is better. Um, the last couple boxes have been pretty bomb. So I hope next month is better. But anyways, uh, this is the finished look. Um, if you do want to sign up for BoxyCharm for next month, um, hoping that next month will be better, uh, you can sign up down below. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a link down below for you to sign up. Um, it is an affiliate link. If you don't feel comfortable using affiliate links, that's fine. You can just go to boxycharm.com and sign up there. Uh, but if you do use my link down below, like I said, it is an affiliate link. So thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked this video, even though it was kind of a mess, if you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.